What you do here matters to you and the world. Let's see. Jungle. Gulpo ain't the easiest tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He recalls you wouldn't put in the time required to learn how to swim. He bets you regret that now. Goop says our memory keeps things for us and protects them until we are ready to face them again. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life. He understands why you seek revenge, but he doesn't think you realize how that'll make you feel once you claimed it. See? On my side. Go, Dark, go! Only the Dark speaks in absolutes. Well, not only. Oh, get snuffed, Light. Let the light shine! Light eventually burns out. Just saying. Says life on the goo is wide open. You have so many choices of where to go. Some harder than others, of course. Which kind do you like? Hit the open surf, then. The trouble is you can only rely on yourself, at least until you reach a new shore and make new friends. Can hardly believe the world is going to make it. Wonders what that's going to do to the goo. Wishes you hadn't done so much to make the goo even gooier. Thinks the Myriad made a good match with you. You're both like sunshine on the surf. Never seen any brighter. Shine on. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit, so you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. It's not that it won't keep your head above the surface, but it needs improving to carry you across the thick goo out by the Porky Puff.
Just a few moves left. Make them count. It's not so dark out anymore. Good scrap makes top weapons.
there. Stay away from that biohazard, you'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Every day comes with a new chance to save the world. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. He's got the goo glide functional. You will have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the surf epelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find Quax. That's where he bobs. Gulp refuses to move from that barge, despite the fact it makes him burf. Goop's not sure, though, if it's the surf sickness or the radium syrup that causes it.
feel that watt breeze blast by. The Quack Hollow, it's just lonely. The plague that's ruining the land needs to be stopped. That's not opening on its own. Might not need that now, but you will later.
Ooh, wee, that's biohazard. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Gulp says he'll bibble anything once, as long as it's drinkalicious, even rocket fuel. He once mixed up some tankers and drank that. It was a real lift-off. That leads him to the bottom of that particular bottle, radium syrup. If only he could find a tanker truck to empty. He's not in a state to go looking, so he's counting on you to help. Go find him a tanker truck and bring back some of that precious radium syrup. Please. Says they might be good for other things, but not for anything better than adding zing to your drink. Take that light! for the dark. Get that light out of your eyes. It's blinding. That's how a bright mind does it. Light never lasts. Not forever. That's enough quacks to sustain the Googlide flipper with infinite ammunition. Goop says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of Date's leg, so this world eater has made it personal. <laughs> After that, Out of Date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the World Eaters, and it wasn't by foot. That's how he got tasked with rebuilding the Googlide. He seems happy to talk. The tree remains intact, but you must all make a change to save it. Says you should take it easy. He seems happy to talk. Says, seriously, go find Noko. She's over in the gnote pen, taking care of the gnotes. Wishes you goodbye. He seems happy to talk. Wonders why you can't think of someone else for once. Understands you have things to do. He seems happy to talk. You need to help Goop defeat the Porky Puff before it destroys the southeast route. There's no one else who can stop the Porky Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. 
You need to help Goop. Be careful, you might offset the... Understands you have things to do. He seems happy to talk. Understands you have other places you need to go. And you don't even have to feed it. It's the porky puff nibbling bark. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of date's leg.
unleash the quacks. You feel it. It's the brisk wind of change. Don't let this opportunity slide.
He thanks you for dealing with another world eater. You're halfway there. He's got word out of date spotted Looper Lupin and has a feeling your time has come. He hopes you're up for it. This is your moment. The time has come for you to face the past and make the Predator pay for what he did. Just head back to the foot of the tree. Fingers crossed Looper Lupin will stay put until you're there. Got word you found the greatest glider of all, an ark, and it's all good to go. Can't imagine how that would feel, to zoom so fast. Funny that you found an ark when you don't need to go anywhere in it. The world's still going to be here. You almost broke yourself trying to break this world, all arcing aside. Wonders if there are any open seats left in that fancy arc glider of yours. So what we have here is someone looking for a way out if everything fails. There's a seat open on the arc, but why would you want this company? I'm so glad you chose that. We're born alone, we live alone, so let's not meet the end on our own. We are better off on our own alone. Everyone else are just means to an end. Being alone is not the same thing as being lonely. And now we don't have to be lonely. It'll all work out in the end. The end must justify the means. So let's hope the Ark is strong enough to carry us all into the future. Wishes he could go sky gliding with you, but he's got a rule against going with a driver he doesn't trust. Goop knows he's repeating himself, but can't help talking to you. Says you should take it easy. 